Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to select categories for your low or no content books. So I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what I do to search for the appropriate categories for my books. But firstly, before I do that, the most important thing when it comes to selecting categories is that you select the correct ones. So you can see here that this author, if I just scroll down uh, for their mood tracker journal, they've selected these three categories here. And you want to make sure that you select the correct ones because what many people do is they select the wrong categories either unknowingly or purposely to gain an advantage in Amazon's system and both of these things can land you in trouble and potentially put your account in danger. So you want to make sure that you select the correct categories for your books. So that out of the way, what usually happens is when you're listing your book, you input all the metadata. So the title, the author name, the description, etc. And when you scroll down, you'll find the section on categories. So what you usually do is you click on this button here, choose categories and you locate your category this way. So let's say you've created a handwriting book. What you do is you'd go through this list to find the appropriate category for your books. But the issue is when you're searching this way, it can be time consuming and you have to go through a lot of categories and subcategories to locate the appropriate categories for your books and this can be difficult so what I like to do is use BookBolt to find the appropriate categories so this tool here BookBolt category finder is actually free and in fact you don't even need to subscribe to BookBolt to use this tool and I use it all the time previously I used to use another tool but most recently I've been using this tool so this BookBolt category finder tool so here all you have to do is search for the main keyword related to the niche that you're publishing in and it'll show all the categories that contain that keyword for example you can see here that i typed in the keyword fruit so let me just type in again so you can see that for the word fruit it's given me these two categories i can potentially use so all it's done is just display the categories that contain the word fruit so similarly let's say i create a cooking book so all i'm going to type in here is cooking and then press enter and then you can see here that it's given me all the categories that contain the word cooking i'm just going to share with you a few more examples so you can see here that this is the mood tracker journal niche so what you want to do is type in the word mood into bookbolt so i'm just going to type that in and then press search so you can see here that it's given me these categories and let's say you don't find any categories related to mood what you want to do is ask yourself what broader word you can use instead of mood so the keyword that comes into my mind is mental health so i'm going to type in mental health here so you can see that there's all these categories here related to mental health so you want to look through them to see if they're appropriate for your niche and if they are then you can list your book in these categories Another example, you can see that this is the kids word search niche. So what you want to do is type in the keyword word search. And then you can see here that it's showing these categories. So you can see here that the first one is the most appropriate. So nonfiction games, word and word search. So let's say you decided that you're going to list your book in this category. What you then want to do is go back to listing your book and then just locate the categories here. So we know that the category we're looking for is word and word search, which is in nonfiction and games. So you want to go to nonfiction here. Games. And then you want to just locate word search you can see here that the category is here and then you want to click on save and then you want to do the same thing with the second category and then even after using bookball if you're not sure about what category to list your book in then what you can do is look at other books other similar books to see what categories they've listed their books in and then possibly list your book in those categories provided that those categories are accurate so if i just go over here to give you an example let's say you publish a mood tracker journal and you're not sure about what category to put it in so all you have to do is just go through some books some established books and then just look at what categories they've listed their books in and then just list them in those same categories once again provided that those categories are correct and by the way in addition to the two categories that you choose during the upload process you can also have your books listed in six additional categories so the way to do this is you'd have to contact KDP and give them details of the six additional categories you want your books listed in. So what they'll then do is list your books in those categories as well. I don't personally do this, you know, I stick to the two categories that I choose during the upload process. But a lot of people say that having additional categories in place can help your book get shown more and get additional sales. So this is something that personally I haven't experimented with and if you'd like to do so then you can. And then another category tool that you can also use is 
Publisher Rocket's category search tool. So Publisher Rocket is a paid tool which I mainly use for keyword research. But you can see here that they've also got this option here to search for categories. So let's say you want to search for a category. I'm just going to type in diabetes here. So let's say I'm publishing a diabetes logbook. So all you do is just type in the keyword here and then it gives you a list of categories you can list your book in. And in addition, they also give you these valuable data as well. So you can see here that this one here, this particular one, sales to rank your book to position number 10. You can see here that if I want my book to get ranked in position 10 for this particular category, then I'd need approximately three sales. And then for this particular one, 12 sales this one 12 11 5 etc so just to show you how this works if i just click on this button here check it out you can see that on the left is the category so american diabetes association category let's say i want to rank my book to number 10 which is over here you can see that this is position number 10 then according to publisher rocket it should take me around three sales to gain this position and then 12 sales you can see this column here sales to rank for number one 12 sales and if i just click on the question mark here you can see that it gives you detail so these sales here are the number of daily sales you'd require to acquire these positions and this can be helpful because what you want to do is you want to rank closer to the top in the category that you're listing your book in because some people what they do is instead of searching for particular books they'll browse through the categories and look for things to buy based on what they're looking for so if they see your book ranked number one or number five or you know somewhere close to the top there's always that chance that you know they'll buy your book and overall you'd be making more sales so that's it for this short video i hope you found value in it if you did then don't forget to like it and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this